Hello guys, good afternoon. I'm on my way to go pick up food. Um, a friend that I met down here, that's also new to the area actually, she is in the process of starting her own online boutique and she's new to the whole like social media thing. So she asked if I would meet up with her and just like kind of share some information, some of like my knowledge and experience doing social media and marketing and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I'm always happy to share whatever information I have. I know it can be very overwhelming when you're just getting started. And like for me, I went to school for media and communication. Like that's what I have my degree in. And then after I graduated college, I did freelance in like the marketing field and then I worked for an actual internet marketing company and I did online like SEO stuff and social media account management and all that so I know it can be very overwhelming I even feel very overwhelmed sometimes and I have like a little bit more like training and education in that field so i can only imagine somebody who is just like going into it blind and has no prior experience doesn't really know what they're doing or what they're getting into you know it's it's tough so i'm always happy to help where i can and hopefully i can just kind of like give her some tips point her in the right direction i'm super excited for her i think it's so great whenever people um, start projects like that and want to like do their own little business little side gig i think it's awesome so um, I'm gonna pick up some food because I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet. And then I'm gonna go over to her place. And yeah, I don't really know what the theme of this vlog is gonna be. I don't know what I got going on this week. I just figured let me bust out the camera and bring you along and we'll kind of see where, where the week takes us. So excited. I got sushi. I got a seaweed salad and a eel cucumber avocado roll and then a spicy crab and avocado roll i am so excited i've been craving sushi so much the last couple of weeks oh my god just getting out of my car to go inside the restaurant it's so it's 74 degrees right now and it's humid and sunny and oh it just feels so good like it feels like summer already and i'm like dude it's still february I, I feel like i'm constantly getting reminded how much i love living here and how happy i am to be here and i don't know life is really good right now and i know a lot of you guys have been commenting that you can just tell that i'm just like in a really good place right now and i am and i'm, I'm glad it shows like everything is just so good like work wise social life wise home life like everything i'm just so happy I could cry and yeah just an exciting time in my life right now and I'm just so content Peeny boy <laughs> I just got home and I am out of breath because I stopped at the grocery store on my way home and I had a bunch of bags that I was carrying up and down the stairs and just now I realized I forgot my camera in the car, so I ran back down to go get that. So a lot of running up and down, and it's really hot. I need to, I, I'm in sweatpants and a freaking flannel, and it's like 80 degrees and humid. What the fuck, I love it though. It feels so good, and it's been like, the weather here's been so inconsistent and weird. Like, we will randomly get like two or three days in a row where it's like, in the high 60s to the 70s really beautiful and then the temperature will drop back down again to like 50s or 40s this is like one of the first days we've had where it's been like really humid so it makes it feel a lot warmer than it is and it's not super breezy like it just i know a lot of people hate humidity i personally love it um i mean we'll see in the dead of summer if i still feel that way but as of right now I love it and it's making me so excited and so many people are out and a lot of people have their balcony doors open and they're like have people over and are playing music and stuff and it's just like it's just nice to like see people out and about and you know like it just makes me feel so alive. I got baby carrots while I was at the store. 
I don't know what it is. I just find them like so refreshing and they are my favorite snack in the summertime. I burned the roof of my mouth like a week and a half ago on a frozen pizza and it like hasn't had a chance to heal because I keep eating like crunchy hard things and that just keep like rubbing on the roof of my mouth and irritating it and now it's just so sore and it hurts so bad. The sushi was perfect. It was so good and satisfied my craving first of all but it was nice and soft so it like you know didn't irritate my mouth at all. This I can't eat too many because mm. I just made myself some tea in my boob cup. I had an iced coffee earlier and it just wasn't doing it for me so I think a warm beverage will feel nice for the roof of my mouth. I'm about to blast some music. We have the balcony door open. I'm gonna clean the kitchen and the living room and then I'm gonna save the bedroom and the bathroom for tomorrow because I ordered some new laundry detergent that's supposed to be coming tomorrow. And I really need to wash my sheets, but I wanna wait and use the new detergent. I'll show you guys when it comes. It's so stupid. It's insanely expensive. I'm almost embarrassed to even be sharing this because I can't believe how much money I spent on laundry detergent. But I was just seeing it all over social media and everyone's been talking, like all the reviews say how this stuff smells so amazing and the scent lasts and everybody gets so many compliments on the smell of their clothes. So it just intrigued me and I really wanted to try it. So I will show you, hopefully it does come tomorrow. It says it's supposed to. That's it, those are all the updates. Okay, I'm gonna change and clean now. to interrupt this vlog to tell you about today's sponsor magic spoon it's a healthier alternative if you miss the nostalgia of sweet cereals that you used to eat growing up this is like the grown-up version of it you get the same kind of taste but without the guilt magic spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar 13 to 14 grams of protein and only four net grams of carbs in each serving they're also only 140 calories per serving. They are keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. In my last vlog, I was eating the peanut butter one and I thought that I liked that and that that one was good, but then I tried the fruity one. This is my second box of it already. Like, it is so good. Like, I can't even explain it to you and you would never know like i honestly can't tell the difference between this and like regular brand name fruity cereal you know it's got the same sweet flavor the same crunch so if you want to try a magic spoon for yourself go ahead and check out the description click that link to try out a variety pack 
I highly, highly recommend the fruity flavor though. So you can use code SAMVEY to get $5 off any order. And you don't have to worry, they're so confident in their product that they are backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like the cereal for any reason, you can send it back, no questions asked, and get a full refund. So yeah, check out the description for the link and my code. And thank you so much, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I'm gonna go finish eating the rest of this I'll let you guys continue on with the vlog. Good morning. It's Saturday. I was planning on staying home for most of the day and finishing cleaning the apartment, but I got a call from one of my friends inviting me out. I was gonna meet up with her and a few people for dinner tonight, but she asked if I wanted to hang out during the day too. And I mean, I could clean anytime, you know? And especially now that I'm working from home for myself, which I love, I feel like it's kind of the opposite of what my social schedule used to be like. When I was working in a salon, I was around people constantly during the week. So then when the weekend came around, I needed that alone time to like recharge um and I feel like I wasn't going out I wasn't being as social because I was around people all the time at work and by the time my friends wanted to go out and do stuff I was just kind of exhausted and wanted to stay home and just like sit in silence you know but now that I get the silence during the week and I have my alone time to concentrate on my work and be by myself, clean, run errands, do whatever I want, my weekends are totally free, and by the time the weekend comes around, I'm ready to go out and socialize, which is good being in a new town because I need to do that. Like, in order for me to meet people and make friends, I have to be willing to leave my apartment, you know? So, anyway, I'm gonna do, like, a full face of makeup later tonight, probably, when we go to dinner, but just for the daytime. I don't want to do anything crazy, but I figured just to make myself look like a little bit fresh and alive, I did the Tarte CC under eye corrector. Just applied a little bit of that under my eyes just to kind of correct the dark circles a bit. But it's like light and natural enough that you can't really tell you have anything on. I just applied some moisturizer. Now I'm going to take the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I'm going to take a pump of that and then a little bit of the Super Goop Glow Screen. I had used this combo in my last vlog when I was doing my makeup and it just reminded me how much I love these products. So I'm just rubbing them in my hands and applying that all over to give me that SPF sun protection, but it also, they're both like really glowy products, so it adds a nice glow to the skin, and like, I don't have any coverage necessarily, but I feel like it just kinda slightly evens out your skin tone a little bit, but in a natural way so that it doesn't actually look like you have on makeup. Now I'm just taking a little bit of blush, this is the NYX Ombre blush, and I'm just barely touching my cheeks. Like literally this is barely making contact with my skin. Cause this blush can be a little intense, which I like. Cause I love a, like a super blushed out look when I'm doing a full face of makeup. But when I'm going for like a natural no makeup kind of look, uh, I don't want it to be like obvious and look crazy, so. Just tapping that on the cheeks, a little bit on the nose. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is some brow gel. One of the things I was gonna do after I finished cleaning was tint my brows because they're like totally faded at this point. Completely forgot, so. Um, whatever, I'll just do that tomorrow and I'll just have to fill them in a little bit more tonight when I go out, but. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Gel, and just run a little bit of this through them, just to like darken them up, add a little bit of color, and uh, kind of tame them a bit. So you can still see my skin, you know, like my imperfections and whatnot, but 
it just like does a little something it makes me look a little bit more like fresh and less like I just crawled out of bed you know I am going to blow dry my hair really quick and then I'll show you what I'm gonna be wearing here's what I'm wearing let me bump up this brightness I have a big loose oversized t-shirt from Urban Outfitters my absolute favorite American no Abercrombie <laughs> Abercrombie mom jeans new combat boots that I just got in the last vlog from H&M and this shacket um, the brand is called jo Joey Joey I don't know I found it at TJ Maxx super sunny out today but it's kind of breezy um, and I think the high is only supposed to be like 60 so just bringing this in case bag is from Target and I just have my plain Ray-Ban sunglasses that is the daytime look. I'm not going to vlog while I'm out, but I will show you guys when I get back. When I change for my dinner look, I'll show you my outfit for that. Just ran home and changed really quick. I <laughs> made a mess. It was one of those moments where I was kind of rushing and I had an idea in my mind of what I might want to wear, but I wasn't totally sure. So uh, here's what we got. Leather jacket from H&M. This dress underneath, I've had for a really long time. I honestly couldn't even tell you where it's from. And you can't tell, it looks kind of black on camera, but it's a really dark green. And then my combat boots that I was wearing earlier. So yeah, we're gonna hang out in pregame, then go to dinner, then go out. So, it should be a fun night. Added some more makeup, just kind of like my go-to neutral kind of look. So, yeah. I'm excited, feel cute. I'm excited to have a fun night. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's actually Monday now. I ended up having a really fun weekend. And then yesterday I was planning on cleaning, but my friend and I recorded an episode for our podcast. And then I ended up going and hanging out with the same friends that I was out with on Saturday. So I never ended up getting around to washing my laundry, but my fancy expensive detergent arrived um, and I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Some of you guys I'm sure have seen this already because supposedly it's like been blowing up on TikTok. I saw it in a couple of vlogs on YouTube and and when I was reading the reviews, everyone was like, oh my god, this is the best smelling detergent ever. It makes all of my clothes smell so good and the scent lasts. And every time I'm out and about, people are always complimenting me on how I smell. And I'm all about scents. I love perfume and all that. So I was just very intrigued. It's the Glamorous Wash in the Diva scent from Tyler Candle Company. And it was expensive. Um, it says shake gently. Let's shake it up and smell it and see if it's actually as amazing as everybody says. And this is not going to be like my regular detergent, okay? I'm not going to be spending this kind of money on a regular basis for a laundry detergent. But I just really, really was curious to try it. I need to actually use it on my clothes and see how it smells on the clothing, but I don't know. This is not what I was expecting. I Honestly, all I smell is mangoes. Like if you were to go to the grocery store and just hold up a mango and smell the skin of it, that's the best way I could describe what I'm smelling right now. Okay, well, we're gonna try it out and um, see how it goes. And, you know, everybody's been raving about this so much. Maybe I'm gonna save you a shit ton of money if it ends up not really being worth the hype.
I ordered it directly from the brand's website though because I know they do sell it on Amazon but I saw some reviews that were saying like oh th this isn't the real thing this is watered down so I wanted to make sure that I was getting like the real product so my blanket better be smelling good as fuck okay it's a little while later I'm about to take a load of clothes out of the dryer do a sniff test it's the moment of truth It definitely smells like very fragrant, but I don't know that I love the smell. Honestly, like it almost kind of gives me an old lady vibe, but now that it's like actually on the clothes and I'm not just smelling it straight out of the bottle, it almost has like a little bit of a smoky smell too. Like a smoky woodsy. I, but it also, I don't know, like it just kind of reminds me of like church with a little bit of old lady. But I don't know, I mean, We'll see, you know, let everything air out a little bit. Maybe I'll like the smell better, like after, you know, it's been lingering a little bit. And I'm curious to see too, like does the smell actually truly last in the clothes? I, I can't say that I hate it, but is it worth the price? Absolutely not. And I know some people are probably like, yeah, bitch, of course it's not. It's fucking laundry detergent. Um, I just was very curious to try it, okay, and I don't understand the hype. I really, really don't. Like everybody was talking about how good this stuff smelled and how it was like, oh my God, game changer. You're gonna go play at the park? Oh my God. You're gonna go play? You're gonna go see your friends? Oh my God. Are you excited? Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. It's Wednesday, right? Yes. I didn't vlog at all yesterday because I was literally just working all day long. Like there was nothing interesting to vlog. I was just on the couch, on my laptop, pretty much from the time I woke up until like... 8 or 9 p.m. I'm one of those people that I cannot just set like working hours for myself. That's why I really love being able to do what I do and just like working for myself and being on my own schedule because there are some days where I don't want to work at all. Some days where I only feel like doing work for like an hour or two. And then there's other days where I get so deep in what I'm doing that hours will go by and I'm just still sitting in the same spot. But I honestly do prefer the days where I just sit there for like 10 hours straight and just get a whole bunch of stuff done. So that way I have more days where I can just chill and not have to worry about work or go out if I want you know I do still have a few things that I need to get done this week and actually this week we decided to do a bonus episode for our podcast um which if you didn't know I have a podcast with my best friend Julia um it's just like a weekly girl chat kind of thing we talk about a whole bunch of different stuff a lot of like dating and relationship sex type stuff but we normally just post an episode every Thursday and this week we decided we had a little extra time so we posted a bonus episode that went up yesterday but now we still have to post our regular Thursday episode tomorrow and I haven't edited that yet so hopefully though I feel like when we recorded the episode like there's been some we're just starting I mean this is we only have three episodes up so far, but definitely like the first two, I feel like it was new for us, so we didn't flow as well. So it required me to edit more because there were just more periods of time where like there was a long pause or we were kind of like stumbling on our words, didn't really know what to say. But this one that's going up tomorrow, I remember as we were recording it, I was thinking like, oh, this is gonna be super easy to edit because I don't really have to cut much out. Like I can just leave pretty much the entire thing as is the only thing is it's the longest episode we've recorded so far it's like an hour and a half long so i have to sit through that full hour and a half listening to the whole thing back so yeah i'm gonna either work on that tonight or tomorrow morning or maybe 
split it up but it is just so nice out today and especially because I didn't go out at all yesterday and I was literally just working non-stop I want to give myself a little bit of a break and I want to be able to go out and enjoy the weather I mean a big reason why I moved down here and left Pennsylvania was so I could have nicer warmer weather be by the beach so it's super warm and humid and nice outside perfect beach day so I'm not gonna waste it I'm gonna go enjoy myself and also I feel like I've been very sedentary I haven't worked out the last few days and it just always makes me feel like so gross and blah so I feel like I just need to like get my body moving get a little sweat so going on a nice long walk on the beach with my dog getting my vitamin D getting to enjoy the warm weather taking Benny on a walk getting my own exercise enjoying the beach doing lots of things for my mental health you know we're killing multiple birds with one stone so I am all SPF'd up I'm gonna go get dressed so excited oh, let's go here's the beach fit airy shorts uh, airy crop top actually now that I think about it Amazon pillow slides which actually I love these so much and I've been wearing them to death so I just ordered a black pair this morning we went to the dog park the other night as you saw and I still haven't given him a bath because I was planning on going to the beach at some point this week so He's already all dirty and gross and uh, we'll probably be getting a bath when we get back, right? Your dreaded word. All right, let's go. We went to a different beach than where we usually go. This one's only like a couple minutes further, but there's like literally no one here. There's some people like back by the pier, but where we're walking right now, literally no one so it's nice I feel like the sand here is softer than the beach we normally go to though because we've been here like maybe five minutes and already I'm like Whew, I'm tired my calves are feeling it but it's good it's gonna be a good workout it's just so nice to be here it's such a nice day it's like humid and warm but that breeze like feels so good. Ooh, this beach house is so beautiful. Look how cute. Ice cold. <laughs> He's like, eh. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you tell it. that I seriously live here. Do you love it here? Do you love it here? <laughs> so we were walking on the beach and it was really funny because I wasn't originally planning to go to the beach. I was gonna just go to the one that we normally go to, but then I was like in the mood to just keep driving and I was like, you know, let's try something a little bit different. So I went to the next one over and a few minutes into being there, we're just walking along and the sky is like walking the opposite direction and of course Benny is like trying to run over to go see his dog and the guy's like oh so you know they can say hello like, all right and uh then I don't know he started talking to me and he was super nice and cute and then he asked for my number and asked me if I wanted to go to dinner sometime this week and I don't know I don't know how I feel <laughs> but I just thought that it was like really funny like one of those straight out of a movie kind of situations love my best life guys you know but I um just 
hopped in the tub really quick to rinse off my feet because they were covered in sand. I didn't realize <laughs> that the uh, little thing for the shower was like slightly pulled up and all of a sudden water just started coming out of like the shower head right onto me as I was like holding my phone, like watching a video, trying to just rinse off my feet and now I am soaked. Hi. <laughs> it's the next day. It is currently almost 3.30 and I feel like, I mean, I, I, I got stuff done because I was working this whole entire time, but it's just, I don't know. It's a weird day. Like I woke up, took Benny out, made some coffee, and then I was like, okay, I need to edit the podcast because it has to go up today. So let me get that out of the way really quick and then I can like start my day and do everything else that I wanted to do. And now it's 3.30 and I'm like, I am, I'm just starting my day. <laughs> the episode this week was the body image episode and it was so long, like our longest episode so far. It's an almost two hour long episode. Anyway, I really am just in the mood to do my makeup. So random, I have nowhere to go. I'm not planning on leaving the apartment, but I just kind of feel like putting some makeup on and taking Instagram pictures. Here's the before. Here's the after. And before anybody asks about the lip color or eyeshadow, I literally just mixed a bunch of crap together. So, just trying to go for like a peachy nudie kind of look and then I just put my hair in like a little ponytail kind of fluffed it out a bit and these hoops are from XIXI. Hello it is currently Sunday night. I just finished editing this vlog that you're watching everything up until this point obviously um, and I realized <laughs> I just kind of stopped vlogging and never concluded anything or filmed an outro. This vlog was kind of all over the place. It kind of feels like just random clips from random days. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I feel like my life has just been all over the place the past month or so. And it's just, there's been a lot going on like in my personal life as far as like socializing and going on dates and just trying to like meet people and just get familiar with my new town and it's been a little bit difficult because you know when I'm hanging out with new people I'm not gonna bring a camera with me and like put it in their face and be vlogging things that we're doing you know so I haven't been doing the best job of balancing vlogging and YouTube work related things and social life stuff so I'm, I'm trying to get used to things and adjust and be better about it so I apologize, I feel, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping that you guys are still enjoying the vlogs anyway, but I just have been feeling hard on myself because I feel like I haven't been doing my best at them. I haven't been like as consistent and I promise I will try to be a little bit better. I'm excited to start fresh. Tomorrow is a Monday, so new week, fresh start. I'm going to start a new vlog actually tonight and there's a lot of stuff that I want to get done this week so it should be a good one so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Magic Spoon and I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye!